testing viral DIYs that we don't have to, part three. Today, I'm making one of those chunky knit blankets that you see all over Pinterest. To start, we're gonna start by making a slip knot. So you're gonna take your pieces, cross them over, and then pull the longer strand through. And then to make a chain, you're gonna continue pulling the longer strand through, trying to keep your chains as even as possible. Then once you get to the end, you're gonna take your last loop and turn it up. And then going through the next chain over, you're gonna pull through the longer strand to make these little like bunny ears and make sure you're keeping them about the same size. And then once you get to the end loop, you're just gonna pull through that loop twice before beginning your next row. And then you're just gonna repeat this process like a million times until you end up getting your blanket i end up having two different colors so i weed that in to make like a nice little pattern and then once you get to the end you're going to take two loops and pull the longer strand through to make another loop and then take that loop connect it to the next one over and keep pulling through if you're doing it right you should start to see the chain start forming then just tuck in the little tail at the end and you're all done So my sister Christine they get some idea in her head sometimes and won't stop until she gets her way. Sometimes she does things that really freak me out a lot. Last night I was hanging out downstairs and I heard a drill and she was taking all the shells off her wall. Then today I was I heard loud noises again and I went upstairs to find her ripping up all of her carpet and throwing it out the window. I really don't know this, where this is going but I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, so starting day two of my sister redoing her whole room, I woke up to the sound of loud banging to find her ripping out all the nails on the floor. I don't know where she found those weird glasses, but now she won't take them off. Then we moved on to the next part where she kept ripping up the carpet. Then we had to vacuum all the little bits that came up in the corners and spackle all the holes in the wood. Then I took a break for lunch and we came back up to find her moving all of that stuff by herself. She literally won't stop, but we keep telling her to take a break, and she just won't listen, so here we are. And now this is the end of day two. At the start of day three, we speckled the holes in the walls left by old picture frames and took a break to pick paint colors for the walls and the floors. The reason why we have so many beds in here is because we used to all share the room when we were little, but eventually we used to start switching rooms, went to college, and we moved out, but we just left the beds where they were. Since we moved out and are just home for the quarantine, we wanted to make this room more of a guest room slash living area for everyone, so we decided that we should get rid of the twin beds and get one queen bed instead. And we had a team meeting to decide where everything should go in the room and spackled for a second time to get ready for paint tomorrow. Day four of my sister redoing her whole room it was painting day. She decided that even though she loves the blue color on the walls, it was time for a change. So she decided to paint the walls and the ceiling all the same shade of white to brighten up the room and give it a more cohesive look. This is clearly her first time painting because she had a few mishaps. Um, this is her painting right over an outlet, but um, the first coat looks good and we're getting ready to paint the second coat tomorrow. Days five and six consisted of more painting and selecting the flooring. Originally, she wanted to paint the floors a light color, but we decided to go for this dark laminated wood because it matched the floors in the rest of the house and the stairs going up to the room. We ended up needing four coats of paint to completely cover the blue, but it was worth it for the bright look she was going for. At the end of day six, we laid out all the flooring throughout the room to let it acclimate before we begin installing the wood this week. As you can see by the look on my sister's face, days seven and eight were way harder than we thought they were going to be. This is my sister using a saw. Yep, it's absolutely terrifying. But the whole family had to help her install this laminated wood flooring. Um, it was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. And we definitely messed up a few times. But this is the progress so far at the end of day two. We're finally getting the hang of it. So hopefully we'll finish by tomorrow or the next day. And I just wanted to say thanks for following along. On day nine of my sister's room renovation, she finished installing the flooring. This is her installing the second to last piece. And then under the last piece in the corner, I had her write a little message and sign her name under. Um, I don't know why she really didn't want to sign her name, but eventually she did. And then we started moving in some of the furniture. Most of it's stuff we already had, but some of it we 
bought and brought in. This is a Casper mattress we bought from Costco. I know a lot of people were saying that we should put two twin beds together and make a king size bed, but we had already donated the twin size mattresses before we started this room renovation, so they went to good homes. And now we're just waiting for the other furniture to arrive. On days 10 and 11 of my sister redoing her room, she finished the floor in the main room and in the closet. Here my sister is going around the room with a silicone gel and my other sister is going around with a baser called a backer rod. This is to allow expanding in the floor when it gets humid out. We then put in a white cord around to match the molding to the floor and to cover up the silicone strip that we just put in. Then it was time to start the flooring on the closet. She repeated the same process for the wood flooring in the closet with the silicone and the spacer strip at the end. Um, we originally weren't going to put the wood flooring in the closet and just cut it off at the door, but we're really glad we did because it gives the room a more cohesive look and makes the closet become part of the room because originally it was just a weird storage room that we never went into. This is what it looks like at the end. We're still waiting on some furniture to come in and we're going to make another video with a before and after. Thanks for watching. Okay, I promised you guys a before and after, so here it is. I was holding off recording this video because all of the furniture we wanted to order is on back order, but this is the setup that we were going for. Um, this is the before of the TV area, and this is it after. It's definitely pretty sparse, but we were trying to keep this area more open. We still have to order a TV and more cushions for the ground. Sorry about these before pictures. They're from an old panorama that we took. Thank you to everyone complimenting the color-coordinated books. That was my contribution to the room. Um, I feel like the renovation that we did made the room just feel a lot more open and spacious. And we really tried to make the room feel like one big room instead of a bunch of different rooms in one space. Thanks for watching. So I've been really wanting to get one of these Gucci hairpins, but at $400, they're a little expensive. So Amazon to the rescue. I ordered a couple of these tortoiseshell hair clips, some crystals, and glue, printed out the image, and got to work. I started working from the middle and slowly made my way to the outside. After making a huge mess and spending about an hour on the whole shebang, here's the final look. I mean, I think it's super cute. Is your tank top just dumb and stupid? Take it off. Then grab a pair of scissors and slowly cut it in half because it deserves the punishment for being dumb and stupid. Throw that top away, we don't need it anymore. Then to add insult to injury, cut the piece you already cut, but you're gonna cut this one twice into a beautiful spiky triangle. Pull it away, okay, she's wearing the shirt now, and you're gonna wrap it up underneath and tie it into a pretty bow. And boom, new look. <laughs> it's got dangles. To build this bed and play loft area for our sun crew, Daniel and I decided to try to only use building materials we had left over from our build. The goal was to create a fun and functional space while spending as little money as possible. We had that barn door left over in the back, four by fours, one by twos, and the stair railings that we used to create the railing around the top. We had to create the design as we went because we were working around that window over there, but we ended up just moving the ladder to that side and cutting it short above the mattress. So he climbs onto the mattress and then up the ladder. So if he happens to fall off the ladder, he's gonna land on the mattress. So really it ended up being for the best anyway. On the right hand side, we were gonna do a slide, but we decided that would come out too far into the room. So we decided to do a rock climbing wall instead. We purchased the rock holes off of Amazon and those and the plywood were pretty much the only expense we incurred. Hi y'all, so I saw this girl on TikTok make this DIY ring light from Dollar Tree, so I wanted to try it. So I went to Dollar Tree and got everything I needed. I needed AAA batteries, a paper towel holder, LED lights, and that little foam green thingy thingy. So I unpackaged everything and I started to get to it. So I put in the batteries first and then I turned on the light and it was real bright. I already knew that because I made a vanity mirror from Dollar Tree before. Watch that video. I put in the thing. You don't need hot glue gun because it's, 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 yeah, you, you don't really need it. But I ended up putting it on and then I put on the lights and then I turned on the lights. It looks like an alien wand, like something that alien would use. But it was really, really bright, like bright as a diamond, like for real. I like want some Rihanna stuff, like. So then I, I, I you see this how my hair look in that light and this how I look in the light and that's how it be.